just outside uh, Borough Station is St George the Martyr's Church. It's funny that wherever you go in London, there's always somewhere connected with Charles Dickens. I think he was a bit like me, just like spending his whole time wandering around the whole of London. And this is a place where Little Dorrit got married in the book. This is a wonderful, colourful window put in after the war. Uh, there's a small picture of Little Dorrit carrying her basket. Uh, also, obviously, St George, St Michael and All Angels. Would Charles Dickens have come here? He describes the uh, vestry over there in quite a lot of detail. The fire in the vestry and Little Dorrit having a sleep in front of the fire. I mean, he'd have been very familiar with it because the wall of our old churchyard was the wall of the debtor's prison. Just across from the, the church is the churchyard of St George the Martyr and the, the north wall, which is on the other side of the churchyard, is the only surviving part of Marshall Sea Prison. That wall over there is the original wall of the prison in which Charles Dickens' dad was actually incarcerated. And that's where you got the idea, because in the book, Little Dorrit's father is also doing time there. If the churchyard's closed, you can come around to the other side of the same wall here. We don't really have them today, but if it was specifically for debtors, you'd probably be in there, wouldn't you? Uh, yes, <laughs> I would be one of them. Whilst Charles Dickens' dad was in debtors' prison, he worked in a shoe blacking factory, which was over near Embankment. And that's where he met a bloke by the name of Fagin, who was actually very nice to him. And how did he reward him? By naming one of his most famous villains after him. So you see the clocks at the top, the, the clock faces. One of them's perpetually dark. And that's the one that faces Bermondsey, because in Victorian times, the people from Bermondsey refused to pay their taxes. So they decided the clock face facing Bermondsey would be perpetually dark, so they couldn't benefit from it. I think actually it's just because it's broken. And they called a builder in and he charged 800 quid to say good morning. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos and updates.